Hello everyone, my name is Walter and I'm from Comprehensive Hearing Solutions and today we're going to talk about audiograms. So this graph here is an audiogram. It's a graph that plots results of uh, certain hearing tests. So along this graph here on the horizontal axis we have a frequency and frequency increases as we go from left to right. So um, 125 hertz is low frequencies, low pitches, and the pitch increases as we go um, across the right of the graph. Along the vertical axis, we have loudness or intensity. This is how loud um, the, the sound was that the person was able to hear in this particular test. So these test results are um, test results from um, air conduction, pure tone testing for uh, audiometric thresholds. So what we're doing when we're testing for thresholds is we're testing for the softest sound that a person is able to hear. So and that's the traditional you know raise your hand when you hear the beep type of test. Um, so you, when you you raise your hand when you hear the beep and the loudness that that signal was when you acknowledge that you heard it um, that's the plotted result here that we see. So a pure tone meaning the test signal that was used this was a, a pure tone. So for this ear, these are the results for um, the 250 hertz test tone. These are results for 500 and so on and so forth. Um, the uh, circle in red is for the right ear. The black X is for the left ear. And that goes along this way for, the, for all these results as well. So as you can see here, this person in, in doing this test um, got these results, okay? Um, what this means is that this person, the lowest possible sounds they heard were uh, around 50 dB, 50, 55, sometimes 60, for each one of these different sounds. So anything above, well, I should say below these, um, this line here is considered audible. They could hear any sound that might exist in an environment above here, which would be softer, um, this person could not hear, could not detect. Okay. So and as you can see here, there's a shaded region at the top that's marked out that says normal hearing ability. And below this line, it's called decreased hearing ability. Okay. This would be considered normal hearing. If these results were plotted up here, this person would have had what we would call normal hearing. Okay. Um, it, these results are indicative of a hearing loss. Um, we know enough with this that we can diagnose a hearing loss. We don't necessarily know what type of hearing loss it is um, because just air conduction scores on their own are not enough to diagnose if it's a conductive hearing loss, a mixed hearing loss, or a sensory neural hearing loss. Um, so there's more that we need to know um, before we can really dive into a, a really specific diagnosis of what kind of hearing loss this person has. Um, most places you may go, most um, hearing care professionals, this may be all you get. Um, and, and it's, you know, they may use it as a hearing aid candidacy exam. Um, you could fit a hearing aid using this information. You'd need more information than this um, to select a hearing aid, the appropriate level of technology. Um, um, but you do have enough to, to at least set the amplification at each different frequency um, for this particular hearing loss. Um, would this particular person have other options? We don't know just from this information because it's, it's just not enough. Um, we would want some more results of some other different tests as a cross-reference. Um, but there you go. I mean, that's, this is an audiogram and these are the results that this person has. Um, I do um, recommend that you, if you can read this link and you want to learn more about an audiogram and what it is and was, how, how a hearing care professional may use this to, to help you hear better, um, I do encourage you to visit, it, visit this link. Um, there's a lot of useful information on there. Um, thank you so much for um, taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day.